<laughs> so what's the adjustment been like for you in terms of learning a new offense? Uh, it's been a learning process. I'm getting used to it. Every player is. Uh, all the running backs, it, it seems like a lot more easier than last year's offense. So we're just going to get used to it. It's going to be a process throughout the year. Devin was saying it's a little bit more high tempo in practice. Oh, uh, yes. As well. Yeah, yes. It's, it's very high tempo. It's a lot of energy. No music, but it's a lot of energy. What Does that make it more difficult to kind of pick it all up when you're going at a fast pace like that? No, it actually seems it's, 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 we get a lot of reps, multiple reps, and it's just helping us. And uh, we're getting better and better every snap. What do you mean easier? What is that? Mm -hmm. What's easier about it? Easier about the offense yeah, than you last said, year's you said offense? Yeah, you said it's easier. Just uh, the, the, the running scheme, that's what it is. Okay. A more simple? Yeah, a little bit more simpler for the backs. Would you say that's the biggest difference between the Degmont and Nesmeyer offense? and the Al Borges office, or other facets that differ? Um, Coach Borges to me was more of a, a pass first and run second. Uh, I feel like Coach Nussmeier is a run, running, run first and pass second. What's the biggest thing you learned from your season last year? It's all about competing up here. And you just got to give it all every practice. And if you have one bad practice, you can't look back at it. You just got to look forward. Is it hard to grasp at first? I mean, everybody says you have to compete, and you, you heard that, but yeah. I mean, is it hard to grasp at first? I mean, not that, not really. After the first few practices, you uh, look at your huddle film, and you see what you did bad, but after that, you just forget about it and move on. With the change in the offense, is there still something you're able to take, though, from that first year that you're able to learn from? Uh, just running downhill and running 40 yards after you get – at practice, if you get tackled, you got to get up and run 40 more yards, and you got to finish. You didn't, learn to you didn't get to make an impact until later in the season. I mean, what, was that hard to go through those first couple months, or did you feel that your time was going to come? I mean, I, eventually my time was coming. I, I just had to be patient and uh, learn from my older backs like Fitzgerald, Toussaint, and Derek. That's all I had, to, all I could do was just learn. What, how have you gotten uh, to be a better back in the last couple of months? What have you focused on, and what areas have you seen improvement in your uh, <laughs> Definitely just looking at my film and going over the film with my brothers and just trying to get better every play. I mean, uh, every practice I get or every snap. So I've just been going over my film and going over the plays a little bit more. You mentioned, Derek, what's the competition like between you two coming in the same class? Oh, it's, it's fine. I like competing with him a lot, actually. He comes to my room. We actually like really good friends, really good friends. We talk about it whenever one of us have a bad play or we miss a block in the sound, we go over it with each other. So we're just here to help each other out. Do you guys have the same style? I mean, we didn't see maybe enough of either of you mm -hmm. to know that. I feel like we have the same style. We're the same style type of back. I like Derek's style, and it it, it seems just like mine. So how would you I, describe that style? Just <laughs> out there, ready to punch, hit the hole hard and fast, and uh, try not to get tackled. Do you appreciate Nussmeier's philosophy? He doesn't necessarily want it to be a, a one back offense. He wants to to get multiple backs in there. Well, it's, it's it's definitely important for all of our backs to get multiple reps because eventually a back's going to get tired. A back can't take 32 carries a game, so it's important for for more backs to get more carries during the game. You and Derek, you guys didn't know each other much, I would, I would assume, coming in. How long did it take before you guys became close friends, would you say? Honestly, it's like me and Derek, Derek kind of have different personalities. Mm -hmm. I'm more of an outgoing person, and he's somewhat quiet sometimes, right. but it's just like when we sit down playing video games together, all like all the freshmen came together and we just sat down and played video games and that's all we all became close. We were really close class. Lived together? No, we like play video games okay, in, okay. in the dorms. Okay. Yeah. Did you help him diet last year when he was trying to lose weight? Uh, he never asked me. How are you outgoing? I'm sorry. How how are you, are you outgoing? How do how do you? I mean, what does that mean? I feel like I introduced. I like my presence when I walk into. I, I guess, uh, like into into Shen Buckler, I'm always smiling. So I'm always got a, I'm always laughing about something. So I just feel like that's why I'm all going. Last, last first year, there practices. Was there a noticeable difference in in Derek since in, since he has lost some of the weight? And did you did you notice him running harder or faster or anything? Oh, uh, you said he said one of um, In these last couple of spring practices, have you noticed a, a difference in in Derek since he has lost some of the weight? Is he Running harder or stronger this this spring? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm sure the weight has done, the weight loss has done a, a lot for him. But to me, he's the same back, and he seems like he's at the same speed. He didn't lose any speed, mm -hmm. definitely. So he's definitely he's my lifting partner. He's definitely 
very powerful with that weight that he has lost. 